In this video, I'd like to continue talking about factoring polynomials, specifically a sum of squares, using complex numbers. And in the previous video, we derived a formula when you have a sum of two squares that this is equal to a plus i times b multiplied by a minus i times b, where i we know is the square root of minus 1. And I'd like to look at an example problem where we can actually apply this formula. So let's say that we have 9x squared plus 25y squared. And to factor this, we can either use the formula that we derived, or we can think about it from basic principles. Since the key idea for deriving this formula is to recognize that since i is the square root of minus 1, i squared is negative 1. And we can rewrite this sum as 9 squared minus negative 25 times y squared. And the reason that we rewrite a sum as subtracting a negative is to realize that this negative on the inside, this is really minus 1 multiplied by 25, and we know negative 1 is really i squared. So let's substitute i squared into this so that we get 9x squared minus i squared times 25 times by y squared. And this right here you may recognize as a difference of squares. Though it might be more clear if we write this as 3 squared times x squared minus i squared times 5 squared times y squared. And since we have a product and everything is squared here, we can just rewrite this as 3x squared, since 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And over here, we can rewrite this as 5 times y times i all squared. And of course, to verify this, you can just re-multiply this out, multiply it by itself. So let me just make a little bit more room. And since we have a difference of squares, we can use that formula. Since the difference of squares, a squared minus b squared is really just a minus b multiplied by a plus b. It's the first number ignoring the square minus the second number ignoring the square and then multiplied by that first number plus that second number again ignoring the squares and for this formula we can write this as 3x this first one ignoring the square minus the second one ignoring the square and i'll write the i first so we have i multiplied by 5y and then we have the first one plus the second one again ignoring those squares so this is how you would factor it from basic principles, just rewriting your sum as subtracting a negative and then replacing that negative on the inside here with i squared. And like I mentioned, we could have just started with the formula. So let's look at that as an alternate a way to approach this. And we just need to recognize that a in this case is 3x since we are squaring 3x to get 9x squared and b is 5y since 5y times 5y is 25y squared and now just plugging everything into the formula we would get 3x plus i times 5y and we would get 3x minus i times 5y but that is exactly what we got down here just with the order switch, but that doesn't really matter. So when factoring a sum of two squares, we can either use the formula or we can just think about it from basic principles and turn this problem into a difference of two squares. 